Okay, so this is the bonus video for Valpro 8. And basically what I'm gonna explain here is that why I call it Valpro 8, what is really the difference between all different sorts of valproic dishes out there, valproic acid, um, the valproic sodium, uh, sodium valproate, and why I chose to go with the name valproate for the whole uh, previous video. Uh, why am I doing it as a bonus video? Because I felt like maybe not everybody may be interested in the biochemistry of it and the details of it, and I'm gonna try to make it as clinically relevant as possible. So let's talk about valproate. So this is this is what basically goes on uh, with uh, valproate, uh, aka valproic acid. Um, I don't think the details of the molecule is very important, but I just uh, put the shapes here for uh, comparing them. So we do have the valproate, aka valproic acid, and basically what this is, if you look at the valproate molecule. Uh, is that when this valproate molecule goes into the stomach, and as you may remember, uh, the pH in the stomach is very low. There are a lot of hydrogen ions like, just moving around. So what happens is that when this valproate goes into the stomach, uh, one hydrogen ion comes and sits on this O, which basically gives you this molecule here. And then, because this molecule now suddenly has a hydrogen that it can give to others, then it is called valproic acid as opposed to valproate. So this is basically what's going on between valproate and valproic acid in physiologic pH. Uh, we, what we have is valproate, and valproate is the um, active molecule. That's why I decided to go with the name valproate throughout the previous video. Now, um, the, the name that you may know these two with is uh, Depakine. So that's the brand, brand name when you have the valproate by itself. Now, you guys may have heard of divalproic sodium. What divalproic sodium, aka Depakote, basically is, is that this molecule here. As you can see, there are two valproate molecules and there's this sodium here in the middle. So basically what divalproic sodium is, is two valproate molecules and one sodium in the middle. Clinically, why is it different? Because uh, this molecule causes less gastric uh, side effects as opposed to this one. So we may prefer this to this one. Uh, so we may prefer Depakote to Depakine because of some of the gastric side effects that this one causes and this one does not. You guys may have heard Depakote ER, which basically what this is, is the extended release version of the evaporic sodium. Um, good things about this one is that uh, you can give it prescribe it once a day um, as opposed to twice a day. And um, uh, but you need to be careful because this the ER version is a uh, is a little bit uh, less bioavailable um, than the immediate release versions. So it's basically eighty percent. Um, bioavailable compared to the other ones, so you may need to increase the dose a little bit if you prescribe uh, Depakote ER, the extended release version of the Valproic sodium. Now there's one more left, and that is sodium valproate. So basically what this is, is that only one val uh, valproate molecule with one sodium, and there's this positive charge here, and um, this one uh, usually comes in liquid form, either the syrup or uh, an injection form, which um, I, I have never prescribed actually. But I think it's interesting to know that the sodium valproate, uh, AKA Depakon, that one has an injection form. Uh, and you can, if for whatever reason a patient cannot take PO, that's a good thing. It's going to be on my radar from now on. Uh, so basically, these two is Depakine, Depakote, Depakon. That's basically what Valproate is. At the end of the day, all of these in serum is Valproate. So that's why I um, go with the name Valproate. That's the active molecule. That's it.